the second <clears throat> of the five components of the tree are the mother letters, the connecting paths <clears throat> between uh, Hokma and Bina, Shen, the topmost path. Then is Aleph between Gejula and Gebura, and then is Mem between Netzach and Hog. Fire, air, and water. <clears throat> Shen defines the supernal realm. This is the realm of the eye. Kether, Hokma, and Bina giving birth to Tiferet. Okay? The Aleph defines the, uh, the mental realm of the individual self. Tiferet, Gejula, and Gebura, the individual self, the mental realm, giving birth to Yesar. And uh, the Mem defines the astral realm of the uh, personal self, the sentient self. Yesod, Netzach, and Hod, giving birth to Malkuth. Okay? So the horizontal paths establish the basic realms of awareness of the eye illustrated by the tree of life. <clears throat> they also introduce movement into the tree, a flow of energy from Hakma to Bina, this intense flow of the essential meaning. Essential meaning, the thing about essential meaning is it always it must express itself, that's its nature. It's always expressing itself as part of the realization, self-realization of the I, as it realizes what it is. Essential meaning is always expressing itself. So that, that rush of essential meaning out of Hakma is really intense. It's the uh, supernal fire that it's the Catholic brilliance emerging from Hakma and becoming Bina. And I, I am Hakma. I am that Bina. I am that. I am that. I am that. I am that. Okay. So, I am that, that uh, shift from the is realizing the essential meaning of itself to realizing the essential form of itself. That is that synthesis of these two poles, essential meaning and essential form. See, the tree of life <clears throat> recognizes that there are poles, but it's all about the synthesis. All these paths synthesize the sephirot, okay? So the tree is about synthesis more than it is about polarization, because the poles are just transitory. It's the synthesis Synthesis is those moments where awareness is evolving, okay? Not in the Sephirot. The Sephirot are more static states. <clears throat> These are the static moments in that evolution uh, of the uh, self-realization of the I. So the Shin is the eternal fire, the supernal fire, defining the non-temporal, the non-sequential, eternal realm of Kether, Hokma, and Bina.
okay? It forms a triangle in your mind when you look at this symbol with just the horizontal paths, the rest of the paths build themselves in your mind. <clears throat> you know, you can't help but look at the symbol and see sort of this ghost image of the other paths in there because they're logical connections. Excuse me. <clears throat> then there is the path of air, Aleph. Now it's synthesizing, it's that infinite continuum of likeness that stretches all the way out to that opposite pole, that opposite static state of difference, of uniqueness. It's that infinite continuum between the connectedness of Gedjula, the collectivity of the individual awarenesses in Gedjula, and the realization that each individual awareness has of its own unique, totally, utterly unique power. It's the powers in Gebura that are the power in Gejula, the power of that collective of awareness is built from all these individual powers of Gebura. And it takes the both of these. This is, again, that evolution in the self-awareness of the I, that it has all of these individual powers. Okay? So there's a movement here. But it's not fiery movement. You know, there isn't this intense energy exchange in this movement. There's just a gentle evolution of the energy of the realization of what the energy is. You know, it's like nothing new, but it is still this shift in awareness. And it's the air, the mediator between the fire and the water. You know, that, that mediator between the, this other polarization instead of just the force to form. In Chokmah, the force is a central meaning. In Bina, <clears throat> the form is a central form. Okay? Here, between Gedula and Gebura, in Gedula, the power, the force, is the collectivity of awareness, that force of a likeness. Because in the mental realm, <clears throat> the law is like attracts like. There is magnetic <clears throat> attraction between similar things in the um, mental realm. That's Gajula. The form is the defining, the definition of self as utterly unique. Okay? And as a consequence, the definition of other as also utterly unique, okay? So it's force and form. Now, with Mem, the mother letter of water, <clears throat> that magnetic substance <clears throat> that draws all things together, that descent into form is between Netzach and hod, and netzach, the force, is resonance. Oh, the power of resonance, that, that desire to connect, to be influenced, uh, the, the significance of everything is impacting our own significance and changing it. We open ourselves in netzach, everything else, and everything else 
opens to us. There is an exchange of vital energy in that sock. It's a constant exchange that the fire of life itself here. <clears throat> but in hold, excuse me, in hold, <laughs> <clears throat> there's that realization that wait I am this it's a reflection of Bina I am this not I am that I am this I am me I can't become you you are other I am me so there is a limit here in Hod, we reach these limits, these defining limits that, you know, again say, this is me, this is my power here, the significance that I possess, that only I possess. Okay? There is a gravity to this flow of energy. And it defines the astral realm of Yesod, Netzach, and Hod, the emotional astral realm that gives birth to Malkuth, the material realm, the temporal present moment. So, these three mother letters are the beginning of structure. They are the foundation of structure, the mothers of structure. Now they're called mothers for some sort of technical, cabalistic uh, reasons um, that I won't go into here because they're basically irrelevant to uh, this presentation. <clears throat> but that's how we refer to these three horizontal paths as the mothers. Fire, air, and water. So next, we'll be introducing the uh, vertical paths and the three pillars of the tree of life, which is another thing altogether. So, till then, bye-bye.